back. Well, um, these are two canvases that I'm pouring over. This one was a mistake and it's got some pitting in it. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do um, my recipe in, on this one. And I'm gonna do the um, Tammy Anderson recipe on this one. I've, I mixed up half of what uh, I have here. Oh, and I was able to find, look at this. Is that not clever? Look at that. It comes off. Sure it does. Ugh. Well, anyhow, <laughs> it does come off. Oh, I'm not pulling it from the right end. Uh, there we go. Almost broke a nail. Um, so it comes off and you can just, obviously it stays on pretty good. And it's got this little spout. So that's kind of cool. I did break a nail. Dang it. Anyhow, I am really, I, I know that this particular color works on with this um, technique. So this is the Modern Masters Satin Finish Metallic in um, Venetian Blue. And it's opaque. It's like the first one I ever did. So what I'm going to do is actually, there's like an ounce, maybe a half an ounce of paint in each. I'm going to show you what I do to mix my paints. I put a little squirt of Liquitex pouring medium in each of them. Then I take my Floetrol. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. And I fill it about, dang it. Hey, Chloe, how you doing? You just want me for my traits, I know. About that much. And then I give it a good stir. This is still gonna to be too thick for the cloud pour. So these paints are exactly the same. See, that's, that's too thick. That's too much, yeah. So I'm gonna give these both a good stir. Then I'm going to add some water. Oh, jeez. There we go. Now that time I did not measure the water. This is something, with paint it's different, totally different. Um, every paint has a different density. Um, so you have to really just go by feel. Of course, you can always do a drip test. That's always helpful. Now that's flowing off the stick really well. There's still a tiny little bit of a mound. You don't want it to be totally moundless, but almost. That's the best I've found. And metallics generally have, you have a problem with them, but this particular one, I don't. I don't know why. It's, um, this blue is just spectacular. All right, I'm probably boring you by now. Stir, stir, stir. This is a gorgeous color too. I love it. You can always use a dropper too to put your water in um, so you don't overwater it. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit more. Little tiny bit. I use just plain old tap water too. I don't know distilled. I probably should do distilled, but I don't. I pretty much a gal who uses what she has. Okay, so I'm gonna pour a little bit in each of these cups. I guess I could have made one, duh. And this is a 12 by 12 canvas on each of these. So I'm gonna need 
about five in ounces of paint, of um, base paint. So, oh, and this has like a handy dandy little, <laughs> it's got a security seal on it. So I'm gonna dump, I'm gonna just hold it upside down so that all of the, the goodness gets to the bottom here. That's what happened to this painting, I think. I didn't shake or stir it and uh, <laughs> I put my put my colors down, and then I did a um, a puddle pour, and then I poured the white over top of it, and I stretched it out, and I sat here, and it just 30, 40 minutes later, nothing, absolutely nothing. But I knew there was color under there, so I just took my glove, blew it up like a balloon, and uh, made a. That's probably even too much paint right there. Um, just messed around with it. Okay, so here is the other one. So this is Deco Art. This is full of bubbles now, dang it. Ugh. Well, I do have a torch. Let's try and get some of those bubbles out. One of the ways you can get your bubbles out is like that. There we go. And you're gonna get your own stick too. So side by side in this fun. I like doing uh, comparisons versus stuff like that. So I am going to, actually I'm gonna start with, no, I'm gonna let that one sit for a minute cause it still has some bubbles. I'm gonna do mine first. Yep, they're both the same consistency. Now I know that blue works. I'm really enjoying um, doing these videos for you guys. Um, I love doing art. I mean, it's just, I love it. Ever since I was a kid, it was uh, one of my favorite things in life. I guess I've always been kind of creative. Everybody in our family is, actually. I have two aunts. Oh my God, they're the best decorators on earth. They have an eye for color like I've never, you've never seen before. Mim and Yvonne. Okay, so, wipe my hands off. Now I'm only gonna put, this is, this is what's fun about this. I'm just gonna do that, get my torch. Turn it off and stretch it out. I don't think I put enough, uh... oh my God, the other day, <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys saw that video. I put way too much <laughs> base paint. I was talking and I just, I, I wasn't paying attention and I lost um, track of how much paint I was putting on the canvas and this time I didn't put enough, but it's still gonna work out, you watch. The more you stretch it, the more cells you're gonna get. And I'm getting that nice little shadow. And I kinda, you know what I like to do too is turn it like this and then get get some um, interest going like, like these little guys here. This is so cool, I just love it. So these will be minimalistic pieces. All right, I'm gonna torch that. And then do the other one. See, I've got some wonky looking cells there. Once you start seeing the cells, you gotta kinda quit. Um, although they might, they might still fill in. All right, I'm gonna leave 
leave that for now. Now I didn't put enough, so I gotta help fill it all the way up. So advantage DIY. <laughs> This is with the DIY satin enamels. Look at that already. Let's move it around. Um, when I have, these are test canvases, they're not the, the best quality, but I, I keep these around for things just like this so that we can um, learn together and that I'm not spending a fortune on quality canvases for experiments. Doesn't look like there's enough on here. Yeah, there is. No, oh, there isn't. I'm gonna put a little bit more. Oops, that's a little bit. So if this works out, we might put deco art out of, out of business. Thanks, Tammy, for um, coming up with that. Recipe, there we go. Got it nice and even. Rinse the, rinse the paws. And here we go. Same thing use all the paint. I guess I could put a little bit more. Okay, there we go. can see this. Yeah, the very first um, try at this, well, the first or second try, I think it was, I tried this uh, Modern Masters in the Venetian blue, and it was my one of my best pieces ever. Um, it just worked out really well. So I knew it would work. Move, move, move. Hmm. It's not moving that well. Let me put some more paint. So the, um, the deco art, um, it's not really doing anything. The deco art DIY is made up of these three ingredients per Tammy's um, video. And I followed her directly exactly and let me torch this all right I'm going to leave this on um, Time lapse, and you guys, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm gonna scrape this 
it's not really doing anything at all. Um, and I'm gonna give it another go with different colors to see if that will help. Here's the mix again. Fill it all the way up. Actually, the bubbles help the cell sometimes. But uh, I just want this to work because it would be nice if we didn't have to have deco art. It's so hard to get sometimes, you know? And um, I don't know. It just would be nice if we had an alternative. And there we go. And back this way. And back this way. Sometimes it doesn't make it over this way. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there should be enough. I guess I'm really fearful of putting too much on these days after I put too much on the other day. Oh, by the way, I have the dried results. I'll show you after this experiment. Okay, so let me get the blue off my fingers here. And let's put some different colors down. Master's Touch. There's only a little bit of it left. Master's Touch um, Ruby. And it's still nice and, and then I'm gonna put also, this is permanent violet dark, and that's also pretty fluid. Well, I think I need a little bit more water in this one. Okay, let's try this again. Torch. So maybe that particular concoction didn't, didn't work because I'm seeing a halo here on the purple. Maybe it didn't work with that particular blue. Let's try it again with some different colors. I find when I go off the edges, that's when I get a lot of good cells. So we're gonna try that too. Oh my goodness, I'm pouring all the paint off. There we go. Because you want to get that tension in the paint. Go, 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 go. It's going. I can see a line of white paint going down there to that edge. Let's bring it back. All right. And I'm going to torch it again and put you on time lapse one more time. Well, I've got it out here. I may as well torch this. Of course, it wouldn't be 
a night of pouring in the galley household if we didn't have a bug make an appearance. <laughs> oh Lord, it's not funny. I swear. Shelly has Louis. I have Louise. So anyhow, um, this corner isn't even covered or maybe it is and it's just drying already. All right. That looks like it's getting a little bit more action. Good. All right, I'm going to put you back on um, time lapse. I'll be back. better. I'm liking this a lot more. Um, the cell structure is different. These are a little rounder. These are they're pillowy. These are pillowy, but um, not entirely um, disappointed with this. Um, I don't know. Let me, let me just try something. If that'll do anything. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. That's real pretty. So, there are options. There are options. I like that a lot. I wonder if this would do the same thing. Let me see. Just for shits and giggles. I mean, I'm sorry, just for giggles. See, and now that doesn't have any effect. Ooh, I almost burnt the paint. Dang, I think I did. It's smoking. Hey, whoops. Let me blow it out. Um, yeah, that didn't do anything at all. There's no cells. Um, that is kind of cool. So um, there's options with that um, DIY satin enamels. It's just you have to be careful about what kind of paint you use, I guess. You know what colors that's the, the thing about this technique it's just like that um yeah it's trial and error so if something doesn't work for you try something different okay guys so this is the um dried results and these are just uh test canvases or not masterpieces <laughs> obviously i I had a couple drips and I, yeah. So just for giggles, so that we can see what, uh, they're experiments, yeah. And here's the other one. It seemed like um, some of the paint split right there. So anyhow. Just thought I'd show you guys the dried results. Let me get a picture of both of them. Please like, share, and subscribe, and please be safe and create.